How's it going, everybody? I'm glad you're here. Happy day five of Spooktober, and today we're going to be talking about Shaun of the Dead, directed by Edgar Wright and starring Simon Pegg, Nick Frost, and Kate Ashfield. This film follows a man named Sean who lives a supremely uneventful life which revolves around his girlfriend, his mother, and above all, his local pub. This gentle routine is threatened when the dead return to life and make strenuous attempts to snack on ordinary Londoners. Now this film has become nothing short of a modern horror comedy classic, and it's definitely a staple for me this time of year, and I'm sure it's a staple for many others out there. And my favorite thing about this movie is that every time I rewatch it, I'm able to pick on a small detail that I didn't pick up on on the previous viewing. Edgar Wright's films are really unique in the sense that all all of the puzzles that he likes to hide in his films are exactly that. They're hidden. A lot of filmmakers that want to make a quote-unquote intellectual or artistic or thought-provoking film make the entire films in of themselves the puzzle and make you really try to dissect the film. Whereas Edgar Wright's films are all incredibly easy to watch and don't require an ounce of thought for anything. However, if you want to think about something and you want to catch things, you absolutely will. There's tons of little puzzles hidden throughout this movie. The way that certain scenes are framed or edited in this film are in of themselves visual jokes which is super cool. And nearly all of them are referenced or called back to later on in the film in a following joke, which is extra smart. And it makes the audience feel smart for noticing it. For instance, the entire first five to 10 minutes of this movie are framed and edited to look like that the zombies have already taken over the society. However, it's just shown to like emphasize how boring that and mundane the society has gotten and how boring and mundane Sean's life has become. And then when the zombies actually take over, they frame and edit the scene in the exact same way that they edited the first five minutes, just as a nice little visual callback to show that now the zombies have actually taken over. It's a brilliant idea and it's executed very well, as is with nearly every idea in this movie. The editing in this film also adds a lot to the comedy. The editing style of Edgar Wright in this film is kind of like a really chaotic mix of a Martin Scorsese film and a Quentin Tarantino film. It adds so much character to the, to the many comedic scenes in this film, and also it adds a lot of character to some of the few scenes towards the end of the film that are meant to be more dramatic. The filmmakers have such a great sense of comedic timing here because what they do with these jokes is executed so well with the editing because what they'll do is oftentimes wait until an actor or a performer has said a joke that lands perfectly and you think the joke is done but then the editor will come in and do a really funny trick with the edit and do another joke that goes along with the joke that was just made just to stretch out the humor of the scene even more. And it never feels forced. It works every time. There's a particular scene involving the car and Sean's mom and stepdad it would not be nearly as funny if it was edited any differently. The jokes in of themselves made by the characters are hilarious, but the editing just makes it 10 times funnier. All of the performances in this movie are great, but there's a special shout out needed for Simon Pegg because while this film does mainly function as a comedy, as I mentioned before, towards the end, it does get a lot more serious and it asks a lot of Simon Pegg in his performance and he really pulls it off. He gives a fantastic dramatic performance, probably my favorite performance from him, period, in the bar at the end of the film. He gives a very truly stellar performance, especially for a film like this that you'd think that maybe it wouldn't be necessary to try as much, but Simon Pegg really gives it his all in this film. He always has so much energy in his performance, regardless of whether or not he's supposed to be funny or sad or whatever emotion he's supposed to be feeling at the moment. He always just has this presence to him that you can't look away. The only major issue that I have with this film is a major issue that I have with a lot of Edgar Wright's films because Edgar Wright is kind of infamous for having messy third acts, and this film's third act is very messy. It's not his messiest third act, in my opinion. I think his messiest third act goes to Last Night in Soho, his most recent film, but there are still some things in this film towards the third act that just don't really add up very well. What it feels like in this movie is that Edgar Wright knew exactly what he wanted to have happen and where he wanted his characters to end up at the end of the film because nothing about that is bad in any way. In fact, the last five minutes of these aspects tie up everything so well, which we'll get to in a little bit. It's just that how they get there is not very well executed. All of the wonderful technical aspects of the first two thirds of the movie are still there, it's just the script kind of falls apart because it seems like it's kind of run out of ideas on how to get characters certain places, so it just kind of makes it happen subconsciously. And because, you know, it's a script, we can do whatever we want because it's the script. And it's just, it you can kind of very clearly tell that that's the case here because it goes from being super creative to just things kind of happening without any explanation. And that is a little disappointing. So it's not necessarily a drop in overall objective quality, it just feels like that the script just kind of wills things into existence as opposed to the plot naturally moving forward. But again, as I briefly mentioned, with that being said, the last five minutes of this movie are 
pretty much perfect. I wish that the crazy amount of ideas that they that they were able to successfully explore in that short amount of time were able to get more time with Edgar Wright, perhaps in a future movie or a spinoff in the same universe. We're so far removed from this film now, it's like 18 years later, so I doubt we'll ever see it, but this film talks about a lot of hilarious and thought-provoking and cool stuff that I had always wanted to see explored in a zombie film, and they spend so little time on it that it's annoying, but it's obviously not a flaw with the film because they do a great job with the time they're given. I would have just loved to see more of these ideas because it's hilarious and also thought-provoking. Again, this film isn't difficult to understand by any means, but if you're willing to sit back and contemplate how the zombies are both cool and fun to watch, but also a dark, seething reminder of how boring and self-loathing our mundane lives of people are becoming and how we're slowly descending into total undead zombies by the day while we're still alive, you can do that too! I think this film is absolutely great. I love everything about it, warts and all. It's just that little chunk of time, that 15 to 20 minute segment of the film towards the end that just gets a little too messy for me to call it perfect. But I'm gonna give Shaun of the Dead a very, very high eight out of 10. I think it's great. I watch it every year. It's perfectly paced. It's such an easy watch. I can't recommend it to literally anybody enough. I think anybody can find some amount of enjoyment in this movie. There's nobody I wouldn't recommend it to. So if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend checking it out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell if you're new here. Let me know what you think of Shaun of the Dead down below in the comment section if you've seen it. And if you haven't seen it, go see it right now because it's great, as always. And once again, like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video. Peace out.